you're betting in America, look closely at the form guide and you'll see the letter L next to just about every entry. It means the horse has been given Lasix, a diuretic that helps treat bleeding in a horse's lungs, which can be induced by racing. It is my strong belief that the use of race day medications in the sport of horse racing has to be banned or our sport will not survive another decade. It's, it just has kind of snowballed. I mean, this trainer next to you is using it and this one is using it and they feel as though they have to. We use too many drugs. Race day medication is, a ban is banned in virtually every racing country in the world. I know from personal experience that our horses can be competitive and healthy without race day medication, such as Lasix. As a diuretic, too frequent use will cause electrolyte imbalances that may impact the performance of your horse or cause other medical problems. The trainers of today might tell you that well, the horses are too soft and there's no way that you can run them back that quick. Really, I probably wouldn't argue that point, but isn't the reason that they're so soft is because we've used all this medication for over a generation? I mean, to me, that is the crux of the matter. And if we keep going the way we're going, it, another generation goes by, it's gonna be an even worse problem than what it is right now. Drugs in any sport today uh, compromises the integrity of that sport. Uh, that's something I think horse racing is going to have to deal with in the future. If we are going to survive as a sport, we're going to have to recognize what our customers want. Our customers want integrity, and integrity means drug free. If you go to. Oh, that horse is going to be able to breathe a little easier when he goes for the elusive triple crown. Today, California Chrome was cleared to wear a nasal strip when he races in the Belmont Stakes on June 7th. During the London 2012 Olympic Games, the equine nasal strip was used by 70% of horses participating in the cross-country event. In the thoroughbred arena, trainer Doug O'Neill uses the strips on all his race horses. Okay, basically we're talking about a breathe right for a horse. Yeah. It's the same thing you, know, you see football players wear it. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem to bother Lakota? No. It's not really pulling on them, it's not offensive to them or anything. The whole concept is to open up the nostrils, to open them up to enhance the airway. That's an essential thing for a race horse. The horse can spend less energy on breathing and more on physical activity, like running big time races, of course, and jumping. The United States and Canada are the only two countries in the world where using Lasix in the racing industry is legal. The drug is banned everywhere else. It was the Friday before the Belmont last year. Scott Pelley on the CBS Evening News teased an upcoming segment with this bite. When we get back from break, we're going to talk about a race being run tomorrow, which every contestant is on performance-enhancing drugs. I understand that 96% of all starters in North America are treated with Lasix. Lasix has been with us for four decades. Like many others, I think our sport would be better off without it.